everybody. So good to see you again. I thought that we could put together a fun craft to go with the story that we just read um, called It's Not Funny, I've Lost My Money by Melody Carlson. Um, I thought we could make the lamp that she uses at the very end to find her missing coin and we can make the coins to go with it. So I put together a little prototype idea of a lantern with a candle and a little pocket at the bottom of the paper to hold all the coins in. This is really simple to do. It doesn't require a lot of materials. Um, at hand, all you really need is some construction paper. Um, you can have background paper of your choice. I chose green because I like green. Um, you'll need some black construction paper for the lantern. You'll need a little bit of scrapbook paper or other construction paper to do the pocket at the bottom of the craft. You'll need some t uh, tissue paper, red, orange, and yellow. Or you could just use construction paper again if you don't have tissue paper. And you'll need tin foil to make the coins with. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to make your craft is going to be your um, sheet of regular construction paper. And I'm just gonna use green again, because like I said, I like green. And then you need to cut out two um, one inch by six inch strips of black paper. And that's gonna be the top and the bottom part of your lantern. Then you also need to cut out four strips of black paper that are a half inch wide by eight inches long. So if you're looking at your black construction paper, you're just basically going to be slicing off um, strips that are this way on your black construction paper. And then as long as you have your black construction paper out, you're also going to want to cut out a circle. Um, just find something to trace, a small jar or something, and trace it, and then trace out an inner circle and cut that out also as well so that you have a black circle. That's the ring that's going to be at the top of your lantern. When you have all those things cut out, the only thing you have left to cut out now would be your candle. Um, I chose a blue candle and um, I just cut a U shape at the top to make it look like the candle had burned down a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, your kiddos can cut it any way they want because I don't know about you, but my candles never burn down uniformly and perfectly. And it would be good practice for those little fingers to get in there and cut out shapes. Um, and then um, you need to cut out your pocket at the bottom. And I found some scrapbooking scissors that have got a pattern cut into them. And I just simply cut along the edges of that. That makes it look kind of pretty and kind of fancy. You don't have to do this if you don't want to or if you don't have the scissors. That's fine too. Um, whatever you want to do to make it a little more exciting through the kind of beveled edge that we get here from using the fancier scissors. And that should be all the items that you need to cut out for now to make our lantern. So we're gonna start gluing. Um, you can use either a glue stick or a bottle of glue, whichever you prefer. Um, I actually used a bottle of glue on my craft this time um, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, and you want to take your first one inch strip and you just want to glue it towards the top of your um, main sheet of paper. Kind of center it a little bit so it's towards the top. And you're going to want to take your ring and you want to also glue just the bottom part of it because it's going to stick up above your green paper and put it at the top like that. Now before we glue this piece down we need to measure and make sure that our length is right. Um, we want our lantern to be nice and long. So we're going to um, place them in here so that it's about that long. And it's okay because this is going to hang down over the edge of your green paper also, like that, so that if you wish you can fold it underneath, or you can just have it hanging loose open for a nice long picture project, whichever you prefer to do. If you don't want your lantern so long, you can always take the two side lengths and trim it. I'll show you, just trim off a couple inches off the end here like so, and then it can be a little bit shorter. Um, that may affect, depending on how big you drew your candle to be, how you want it to go, because your candle's gotta go in here too. And I went ahead and I cut out, out of my scrapbook paper, a little candle holder base inside my lantern. Um, it can just rust on top like a candle base, because otherwise your candle's gonna melt all over the inside of your lantern, and what a mess that would be. So you can do it that way. And once you've figured out that, then you're going to want to glue your sides on. And just a strip of glue here, like so. And 
and a strip of glue here. And it's okay if it's messy. Messes are good. And then we're going to glue our bottom one on. Like this. If you want to be really particular, you can glue these on last and glue your cross strips on first. Um, but that's entirely up to you. So when you glue, you need to glue your candle down before you glue your cross strips on though. And of course, your candle holder. Because they will be covered by the cross strips. And there's that. And we'll flip this over like that, and there you are. And then, like I said, glue your cross strips on as well. And now it looks like a lantern whose candle needs to be lit. So we're going to go ahead and light that candle by using our tissue paper. And I have um, bought tissue paper squares that are pre-cut for other craft projects. If you don't have that, that's fine. You can just cut up your tissue paper um, into squares. And the nice thing about buying them pre-cut is that they're all the same size, which makes it a little bit easier to work with. But again, it's not necessary. And you're gonna wanna take, um, on my craft, I had three, well, I had six um, pieces total, so six or seven squares is really all you need. And you want to take a pencil and you want to wrap your tissue paper square around the eraser end of your pencil until it forms a nice little cup shape like that. And the reason we're going to do that is because you're going to come over here and you're going to glue a flame shape um, glue patch on your candle. And then you want to take your tissue paper squares that you've made into these little cup shapes and just place them pencil face down into the glue because that way your flame will stand up like the candles actually burning and you can do whatever assortment that you think makes your flame look the most like a burning wick um, you can make it as bright or as small as you like um, mixing it up a little bit and we'll put another orange one on top I think and there there's the candle now to attach our coin pocket at the bottom I just ran a small bead of glue along the bottom of the page and up the sides so we could form a pocket and I glued my scrapbook sheet of paper on here so that it would form a nice hole there. All right, so we're gonna set this off the side to dry for a few minutes and I'm gonna show you how to make the coins. You're going to need a sheet of aluminum foil or tin foil. You just wanna fold it in half on itself, like so. It's okay if your edges are not even because we're gonna um, cut out from the center anyways. Then after you fold it in half, you wanna fold it in half this way, the nice long way. Again, it's okay if it's not square. And we're going to fold it in half one more time. So now you got a square and, yep, you guessed it, one more time. So if your preschool is learning about shapes, this is a great way to show how rectangles can go to, or squares can go to rectangles and back and forth. And now you've got this nice, solid, thick piece here. We're going to cut out some circles. Actually, we're just going to cut out one circle. And um, you want to come around. And kind of eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect again. And discard your trash. And here we are with our coins. And because they've been folded over on them, they can kind of stick a little bit. Just kind of use your thumb, slide them off a little bit, peel them apart. Some of them might stick. That's okay. But they're nice and shiny. And I cut out some ones earlier. So now we have all of our coins that we can put in our craft. So now when our little old lady is looking for her coins, she can find them by the light of her lamp. And that reminds us about how, we, how our Heavenly Father rejoices when we come home to Him. 
So I hope you enjoyed our craft today and our story. And I look forward to seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.